May I just request your lordships to now uh, turn to Justice Nariman's uh, uh, judgment, which begins at page 1377. The opening line, a prophet is without honor in his own country. Substitute citizen for profit, uh, for profit, and you will get the gist of the various writ petitions filed under Article 32 of the Constitution of India, assailing Section 6A of the Citizenship Act. It all began when the Burmese ceded Assam to the British on 24th February 1826 as per the Treaty of Yandabo, thus uh, bringing to an end a home rule in Assam, which had begun sometime in the 13th century. The British annexed Assam and placed it as an administrative unit of the Bengal province. As early as 1931, C.S. Mullen the census superintendent in the census report stated, probably the most important event in the province during the last 25 years, an event moreover which seems likely to alter permanently the whole feature of Assam and to destroy the whole structure of Assamese culture and civilization has been the invasion of a vast horde of land-hungry immigrants, mostly Muslim from the districts of East Bengal, wheresoever the uh, carcass, these vultures will gather together. And then the source is indicated. In 1935, the Government of India Act was promulgated. Assam was, under Section 46.1, stated to be a governor's province. It was in this scenario that the Foreigners Act of 1946 was enacted, under which the burden of proving whether a person is or is not a foreigner lies upon such person. At the commencement of the Constitution of India, Article 5 stated that every person who has his domicile in the territory of India and who was either born in the territory of India or either of whose parents were born in the territory of India or who has, been, who has been ordinarily resident in the territory of India for not less than five years immediately preceding such commencement shall be a citizen of India. As an exception, Article 6 which is important for the determination of some of the questions arising in these red petition states as follows. Rights of citizenship of certain persons who have migrated to India from Pakistan. Notwithstanding anything in Article 5, a person who has migrated to the territory of India from the territory now included in Pakistan shall be deemed to be a citizen of India at the commencement of this constitution if a. he or either of his parents or any of the grandparents were born in India as defined in the Government of India Act 1935 as originally enacted, and B1, in the case where such person has so migrated before the 19th day of July 1948, he has been ordinarily resident in the territory of India since the date of his migration, or two, in the case of such person has so migrated on or after the 19th day of July 1948, he has been registered as a citizen of India by an officer appointed in that behalf by the government of the Dominion of India on an application made by him, therefore, to such officer before the commencement of the constitution in the form and manner prescribed by the government, provided that no person shall be so registered unless he has been resident in the territory of India or at least six months immediately preceding to the date of the application. 19th July 1948 therefore became the baseline for such persons as were referred to in Article 6 for being citizens of India. At this stage, the Immigrants Expulsion from Assam Act 1950 was enacted to protect the indigenous inhabitants of Assam. The statement of objects and reasons of this act says, during the last few months, a serious situation has arisen from the immigration of a very large number of East Bengal residents into Assam. Such large migration is disturbing the economy of the province. Besides giving rise to a serious law and order problem, the bill seeks to confer necessary power on the central government to deal with the situation. In pursuance of this object, sections 2 and 4 of this Act, which also have a bearing on the issues raised in the petition, state as follows. Power to order expulsion of certain immigrants. If the central government is of the opinion that any person or class of persons having been ordinarily resident in any place outside India 
has or have, whether before or after the commencement of this Act, come into Assam, and that the stay of such persons or class of persons in Assam is detrimental to the interests of the general public of India, or of any section thereof, or of any scheduled tribe in Assam, the central government may by order A. Direct such persons or class of persons to remove himself or themselves from India or Assam within such time and by such route as may be specified in the order, and B. Give such further directions in regard to his or their removal from India or Assam as it may consider necessary or expedient, provided that nothing in this section shall apply to any person who on account of civil disturbance or the fear of such disturbance in any area now forming part of Pakistan has been displaced from or has left his place of residence in such area and who has been subsequently residing in Assam. 4. Power to give effect or uh, to give effect orders, etc. Any authority empowered by or in pursuance of the provisions of this Act to exercise any power may, in addition to other action expressly provided for in this Act, take or cause to be taken such steps and use or cause to be used such force as may, in its opinion, be reasonably necessary for the effective exercise of such power. It was during the census of 1951 that a national register of citizens was prepared under the directive of the Ministry of Home Affairs containing information village-wise of each and every person enumerated therein. Details such as the number, of, uh, number and names of persons the houses or holding belonging to them, father's name or husband's name, nationality, age, the means of livelihood were all indicated therein. Between 1948 and 1971, there were large-scale migrations from East Pakistan to Assam. As is well known, West Pakistan commenced hostilities against East Pakistan on 25th March 1971 culminating in the war which dismembered the two parts of Pakistan and in which a new nation, Bangladesh, was born. It's interesting to note that immediately after the successful culmination of the war in Bangladesh, on 19th March 1972, a treaty for friendship, cooperation and peace was signed between India and Bangladesh. Article 8 of the said treaty is in the following terms. In accordance with the ties of friendship existing between the two countries, each of the high contracting parties solemnly declares that it shall not enter into or participate in any military alliance directed against the other party. Each of the high contracting parties shall refrain from any aggression against the other party and shall not allow the use of its territory for committing any act that may cause military damage or to constitute a threat to the security of the other high contracting party. Given all the continuing influx of illegal migrants from Bangladesh into Assam, the All Assam Students' Union first submitted a memorandum to the then Prime Minister of India in 1980, inviting her urgent attention to this issue. As a result of such representations, Parliament enacted the Illegal Migrants Determination by Tribunal Act 1983. This act was made applicable only to Assam, and was expected to be a measure which speeded up the determination of illegal migrants in the state of Assam with a view to their, de to, uh, to their deportation. Not being satisfied with the parliamentary measure and in view of large-scale agitation in the state of Assam, an accord was signed known as the Assam Accord on 15th August 1985 between AASU, AAGSP and the central and state governments. The, award, uh, the accord is worth quoting in extenso. Assam Accord, 15th August 1985, Accord between so and so. Memorandum of Settlement. The government have all along been most anxious to find a satisfactory solution to the problem of foreigners in Assam. The AASU and the AAGSP have also expressed their keenness to find such a solution. The AASU, through their memorandum dated 2nd February 1980, presented to the late Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi, conveyed their profound sense of apprehensions regarding the continuing influx of foreign nationals into Assam and the fear about adverse uh, effects upon their political, social 
cultural and economic life of the state. Being fully alive to the genuine apprehensions of the people of Assam, the then Prime Minister initiated the dialogue with the AASU AAGSP. Subsequently, talks were held at the Prime Minister's and Home Minister's level during the period 1980 to 83. Several rounds of informal talks were held during 1984. Formal discussions were resumed in March 1985. Keeping all aspects of the problem, including constitutional and legal provisions, international agreements, national commitments, and humanitarian considerations, it has been decided to proceed as follows. Foreigners issue. The purpose of detection and deletion of foreigners, 1-1-1966, shall be the base date and year. All persons who came to Assam prior to 1-1-66 including those amongst them whose name appeared in the electoral rolls used in 1967 elections, shall be regularized. Foreigners who came to Assam after 1-1-1966, inclusive, and up to 24th March 1971, shall be detected in, accordan in accordance with the provisions of the Foreigners Act 1946 and the Foreigners Tribunals Order 1939. Names of foreigners so detected will be deleted from the electoral rolls in force. Such persons will be required to register themselves before the registration officers of the respective districts in accordance with the provisions of the Registration and Foreigners Act 1939 and the Registration of Foreigners Rules 1939. For this purpose, the Government of India will undertake suitable strengthening of government machinery on the expiry of the period of 10 years following the date of detection, the names of all such persons which have been deleted from the electoral rolls shall be restored. All persons who were expelled earlier but have since re-entered illegally into Assam shall be expelled. Foreigners who came to Assam on or after 25th March 1971 shall continue to be detected deleted and expelled in accordance with law, immediate and practical steps shall be taken to expel such foreigners. Emphasis supplied. The government will give due consideration to certain difficulties expressed by AASU, AAGSP, regarding the implementation of illegal migrants determination of Tribunals Act 1983.